I think these two gentlemen should immediately apologize to me. Why? For making such uh, uh, statements. Um, um, uh, yes, because they, I just told, <laughs> uh, told you they expected me that from <coughs> in 2005 I should have gone into the public domain. Don't they understand? I did what I could. I went and told Justice uh, Lahoti the full facts. That was the maximum I could do as a sitting judge. I have certain constraints. But why and just do you imagine want Mr. Fali Nariman Ram saying Jethra that I was to apologize uh, to cheap me. publicity. Yes, and Fali Nariman particularly who said uh, in the, in, on your channel that I was seeking cheap publicity. And yes. a man whom I have respected, Mr. Fali Nariman has gone down in my, uh, uh, in my uh, opinion. Making such allegations that I was seeking cheap publicity in a exposing corruption is cheap publicity. Wonderful. You senior lawyers are wonderful people. Thank, thank God. Soli Swarabji, do you think that was an unfair comment? <laughs> that Justice Kaju is but seeking cheap answer. publicity. He's, he's quite hurt by that comment. Do you think, he's, first of all, he wants both but of I you to apologize to him? And the second point I on the issue of publicity. Yes. Publicity, I have not said, so I don't want to say. He is referring to some other senior lawyer. Fali and I said. don't understand why we should be apologized. We are expressing our views. Why should Justice Gajju be sensitive? In mm -hmm. fact, I have started by saying I attribute no ulterior motives to Justice Gajju. I said it at the beginning, I said it again. But if I have a different view as to what he should have done, that's not the reason why I should apologize to him any more than he should apologize to me for not understanding the role of a judge. Justice Kaju, you're not getting any apologies on the news are tonight, clearly. You're not getting I any... I can't understand. Do these gentlemen want that as a sitting judge, I should have gone into the public domain? Sir, Don't they understand this is against... Sir, but... You know, there's a certain uh, unwritten code of conduct of a judge. He, I can, I can go to the Chief Justice of India and tell him Fine. that certain wrong things are happening. But, I but, can't but go to the press. Sir, sir if my info, if, if my memory <laughs> serves me correct, you were the, <laughs> sir, you were the Chief, Chief Supreme Court judge till the 19th of September 2011. And if I am correct, from the yes. 5th of October 2011 till the present moment, you are a chairman of the press council. I understand that you were quiet. That's right. When you were a Supreme Court judge. But from October 5th till now, can you tell all our viewers, Justice Kaju, why you did not speak from October 5th, 2011 till now, when you were not a Supreme Court judge? Yes, because, you see, by, by September... Yes, yes, I can hear you. Go ahead. Because by, this, this incident happened in 2005. By September 2011, I had also forgotten about it because so many things had happened. Then, I, when I recollected it, you know, when uh, that comment came on my Facebook page about, I think, two, three weeks back that um, somebody commented that you are writing about so many things. Why don't you write about your experience in Madras High Court? Then I started ma uh, 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 putting posts on the, my Facebook page ah, about Sarabji my experience is in Madras High Court. And then I recollected. Soli Sarabji, is, uh, it, 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 Soli Sarabji is not convinced by what you've said. That's, I don't but know if Ram Jatpalani is. I don't know opinion. if Soli Sarabji is nodding. Is there in agreement or disagreement? I don't want to surmise for him. Agreement or disagreement, Soli Sarabji? No, no, I can't believe it's an important matter. Surely Justice Kalki could not have forgotten it. And the Facebook only revived it. But I find it difficult to accept that. But if he says that, out of deference to him, I'll accept it. But I find it difficult. It's a matter of so importance. How could he forget it? How could you forget it, Justice Kaju? This, this news story, since you wrote about it, has rocked the nation for 48 hours. The implications are massive. I have put out tonight on Times Now at 6 p.m. a note of the Prime Minister in which the Prime Minister is directly in some kind of unholy understanding with Bhardwaj to put pressure on the Supreme Court to get this tainted man appointed. Sir, with, with complete respect to you, and I think I agree with Sir Sram Jetpalani that I think what you've exposed is tremendous. And I think the real person answering questions today should be Manmohan Singh, who unfortunately Ram Jetpalani is always very soft on. I find it interesting, Ram Jetpalani, <coughs> with <laughs> utmost respect to you, <coughs> That you choose to point your arrows at Markande Kadju. You accuse Kadju of lacking moral I courage. Don't. No, you did. Please you don't. Did. Uh, nah. Sir, you did, sir. Sir, you did I'm accept it, sir. 
Sir, you did, sir. Now, please. Uh, sir, you uh, did. Now, you are please, questioning. Please understand. You said it please in India Please understand what I am talking about, Markand, Markandi sahab. You please said understand what I am saying. According to me, he, according to me, if he thought that a sitting judge has no right to go into the public domain, he should have stopped being a sitting judge and then gone into public domain. Okay. That was the sacrifice which was needed from him. Mr. Kaju, you could have sacrificed your position, taken on the powers that be. Uh, you chose not to do so then. And hence, Ram Jetmalani says you lacked moral courage then. Please do respond to him. He has said on record that you did not have the moral courage to speak the truth when you should have spoken the truth. He has said so. I, I did speak the truth. I spoke the truth to the Chief Justice of India. But what do you do there, Ram? I spoke the truth. I spoke the truth to the Chief Justice of India and informed him everything. But that was the maximum I could do as a sitting judge. Please but understand which the proved few times. Which, yes, Mr. Jetmalani. Sorry? Mr. Jetmalani intervened then. Yes, Mr. Jetmalani. <laughs> no. But he, you realize that your disclosure to the Chief Justice did not prove adequate for the occasion. That's right. Then you should have done some something more. And that something more was that you should have resigned and then exposed the system. Resigned uh, as, resigned as judge of the so why didn't wonderful. you resign earlier on this issue? If you had resigned on the issue, Ram Jetmalani uh, says he would not have been questioning your moral courage tonight. Maybe you would have got a round of applause from the whole country, Mr. Justice Kaju. Yeah, Mr. Ram Jetmalani should have resigned as a lawyer long time why, back. Why do you say? If you got talk of resignation, you gentlemen should also have resigned as lawyers <laughs> and done some social work or something like that. Why should I resign? You resign? <laughs> Wonderful. I, I okay. bet. I, I have been doing my social you work. As a lawyer, you go being a so lawyer, huh? No, no, don't only do social work. Don't st uh, give up your law. So why should I resign as a lawyer? Do, uh, then why should I resign? My, if you don't my resign, being a I lawyer I helps my social work. Resign? Wonderful. <laughs> resign is wonderful. Great logic. Well, gentlemen, I just want to say one thing well, at this point. No, I want to say one thing at this point. The fact. The fact very clearly is this. One thing is proven correct, Soli Sorabji and Ram Palani, is that the veracity of Justice Karju's claims have been proven correct. Yesterday, we, we, none of us, none of us, Mr. J uh, Justice Karju, Ram Palani, or Soli Sorabji would have believed that the Prime Minister of India, a person who strangely Mr. Palani has as soft on as he is harsh on the Gandhis, that the Prime Minister of India could have written the surreptitious note on the 17th of June 2005 exactly one year and two weeks into his first tenure as Prime Ministership. Why are we not questioning Manmohan Singh tonight, Ram Jetmalani? Why aren't we asking why Manmohan Singh was trying to corrupt the system? Yes, Where sir. was his spine? Where were his ethics? I have... I have... There, there is... There is nothing which I have refused to believe against Manmohan Singh these days because the man has sold his conscience to that lady who unfortunately has become the, 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 the un, uncrowned empress of India and that is the lack of our national character. Yeah, but the PMO note, yeah. the PMO note we exposed Soli Sorabji is the smoking gun. The Prime Minister of India was intervening. I agree. With the you. Prime Minister of India was intervening. Of the Prime Minister of but India I, was I, writing I, a letter saying, please tell me why this tainted man is not being recommended as a judge. Is that what we should expect from the but, office of Prime Minister Soli Sorabji? Isn't that the greatest betrayal? But he Bigger has than any up, scam has that has been exposed. He has done many worse Let's things than that. Yes, Mr. Sorabji. Let's, let's have a separate discussion on that. It's a very serious matter which you've raised. You've done a great service to the people uh -huh. of India by disclosing that note. I'm not applied my mind. Today we are a limited question of Justice Karchu's conduct and behavior. As I've said, Justice Karchu, even I do not like your shooting of questions of Chief Justice Rahote. Ram Jaitmanani shooting of questions of Rajiv Gandhi in the Bosa's matter, excellent. But you were a spurious judge of the Supreme Court. You served the institution. And question one, question two, question six, 
I don't think it's becoming of a judge of the Supreme Court. Ah, one second. He's a judge of your character. One second. Just, just one, one minute, gentlemen. At this May point, I Justice Kaju, I just, May I, I would, no, that. no, no, you have full right to respond, Justice Kaju, and I will drive. I just want to explain to the viewers what Soli Sorabji is talking about. Just a quick recap. You see, Justice Kaju, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen, since he went public with this matter, and this entire matter relates to political pressure in the appointment of an allegedly corrupt man through political pressure directly from the Prime Minister of India and the Law Minister as a judge in the Madras High Court. Now, this means politicians interfere in the appointment of judges. Following this matter, Justice Kaju has questioned why the Chief Justice of India, the then Chief Justice Lahoti, succumbed to the political pressure. On his Facebook post, I think he put out six questions to Justice Lahoti, much in the way that Ram Jaitbalani during the Bofors scam used to put questions to Rajiv Gandhi. Now, the question to you, Justice Markande Kaju, that Soli Sorabji is actually challenging you tonight is, this is not a Bofors scam. There is no personal impropriety that Justice, Chief Justice Lahoti has done. And Soli Sorabji is accusing you of bringing down the dignity of the office of the Chief Justice of India by shooting public questions towards the former Chief Justice. Your response, please, Just, Justice Kaju. Give me uh, two minutes yes, to yeah, yeah. explain this. Yeah. See, uh, in feudal times, the king was supreme and the people were subordinate to the king, subjects of the king. Yeah. In a democracy, this, rela this relationship is reversed. Now the people are supreme and all state authorities are nothing but servants of the people. Sure. Whether you are president of India, prime sure minister of India, chief justice of India, sure. chief justice of Lahoti was nothing but a servant. Pe he was a servant and people in a democracy have a right they are because they are the masters, the master has a right to know how his servant is functioning. Don't you, if you have a servant, can't you um, 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 scold him if he is not functioning properly? Sorry, if sir, you are chief sorry, justice sir, of India, sir, president of India, attorney general, you are nothing but a servant. People are supreme. So, I was representing the people and I am questioning him, but why did you do this improper thing that extending the term of a corrupt judge? So, learn some political science, Mr. Sodhi Sorabji. Ah. In a democracy, people are supreme. The people are supreme, as Rousseau, the great philosopher, said. You are nothing as attorney general exactly. and Mr. Ram Jitmanani as a minister. You were nothing but a servant. You are servant of the people who are supreme in a democracy. Ah, and people have that, a right that, to know that, that, how that, the that, that, is functioning. He is a servant. I entirely <laughs> agree with Justice Kachu that the people are... That's precisely why I should have resigned Justice. and shown mayoral courage. Precisely. I agree with him. Mr. Mr. Justice Kaju, you, you left, you left, you left the interests of the master in the hands of a servant. That's that's your mistake. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, gentlemen, the fact of the matter is this. Now we've questioned Justice Kaju for the last half an hour on the timing of this issue. However, I, while I wrap this part of the discussion, I must say this. What one does not like, Justice Kaju, Soli Sorabji and Ram Jaitpalani, you're all, you're disagreeing with each other in different ways, but I like the fact that you're talking straight. What we don't like is hypocrisy. What we don't like is U-turns. What we don't like is saying one thing one day and turning around when exposed the next day. And ladies and gentlemen, as I thank you for participating in debate one tonight, I now want to introduce the second person who we spoke to. And that person is the former law minister. Yesterday, ladies and gentlemen, if you watch the news, I remember Hansrat Bhardwaj, the law minister under Manmohan Singh, said to me that Manmohan Singh never had anything to do. He did not interfere. He did not even know who was being appointed as a judge. Today, when I confronted him, he did a U-turn. Here's a clip of that chat with the former law minister of India, Hansraj Bhardwaj, swiftly jumping tracks, doing a 180-degree turn exposing his role and Manmohan Singh's role in Fixgate.